Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Crochet Rainbows and Butterflies. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this train applique. This is a very cute and fun project to make. You can attach it to bags, blankets and many other crochet projects. Now before we go ahead, if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss a crochet tutorial. Now for this tutorial, I have used crochet hook 3 millimeters. You can use any crochet yarn, but for this project, I will be using crochet 4 ply yarn. You also need a stitch marker and a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. So let's get started. We start with the engine first. Now for that you need to work a slip knot and you chain 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. And now you chain 3, 1, 2 and 3. And now you need to work your first double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So you do not count the one that's on your hook. You start counting from here. So that's one, two, three and four. Right into that you need to work your first double crochet. And now you need to work one double crochet in each stitch of this row. So one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet. So you need to continue working one double crochet in each stitch of this row till you reach the end of the row. I've completed my row. You need to have a total of 16 double crochets if you count the first chain three. The first chain three that we made will be counted as a double crochet. So you need to have a total of 16 double crochets. And now you need to turn your work. Now to start the next row you can chain two and count that as your first double crochet and then continue working your double crochets. But I'll show you a different way of starting your row which will give you straight edges. Now for that if you can see you have your first stitch here, right here, right into that you need to work one single crochet. So right here, one single crochet. Now after you work your single crochet, you have two stitches, you have two loops if you can see. That's one and two. This is your first loop. And this is your second loop right here. Now into the second loop, into this loop, you need to work one single crochet. So we go into that loop like this and you work one single crochet right into that. Now this will be counted as your first double crochet. Now you work one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch and you need to continue working one double crochet in each stitch of this row till you reach the end of the row. I've completed my row and now again you need to have 16 double crochet counting the first stitch that we made here as our first double crochet you need to have a total of 16. Now again you turn your work and you work one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in this loop and you need to work one double crochet in the next stitch. one double crochet in the next stitch, 
one double crochet in the next stitch and you need to continue working one double crochet in each stitch of this row till you reach the end of the row I've completed my row and again you need to have 16 double crochets now you turn your work you need to work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in this loop and now you need to work one double crochet in the next stitch you chain two and now you need to skip two stitches one and two and right into the third stitch you need to work one double crochet chain two you need to skip two stitches one and two and right into the third stitch you need to work one double crochet and now you work one double crochet in the next stitch and now you turn your work you need to work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in this loop and now you work one double crochet in the next stitch chain two you need to skip the chain space and right on top of the next double crochet you need to work one double crochet chain two you need to skip the next chain space and right on top of the next double crochet you need to work one double crochet and you need to work one double crochet in the last stitch here and now you chain one you turn your work and now you need to work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the next stitch you need to work two single crochets in the chain space so that's one and two you need to work one single crochet right on top of this double crochet now you work two single crochets in the next chain space one and two you work one single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch right here and now you chain one and you cut your yarn now we're going to attach the next color now to do that I'm working a slip knot first and now in this row you need to skip two stitches one and two and right into the third stitch we're going to attach this color and you chain one now you work one single crochet in the same stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch so we work three stitches now you chain one you turn your work you work one single crochet in the first stitch 
one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the third stitch you chain one you turn your work and you work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch and one single crochet in the third stitch you chain one and turn your work again you work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch and one single crochet in the third stitch and now you chain one and you can cut your yarn now we're going to start with the compartment of the train now for that you work a slip knot and you chain 13 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 and now you chain 3 1 2 and 3 and now you need to work your first double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook again you do not count the first chain that's on your hook you start counting from here so that's one two three and four right into that stitch you need to work your first double crochet and you work one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and you need to continue working one double crochet in each stitch of this row till you reach the end of the row I've completed my row and now counting the first chain 3 you need to have a total of 14 stitches so counting the first chain 3 as your double crochet you need to have a total of 14 double crochets in this row and now you turn your work and we're going to start the next row in the same way that we worked the rows of the engine so we work our first single crochet here in the first stitch and you work the next single crochet in this loop now this will be counted as a first double crochet now you work the next double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and you need to continue working one double crochet in each stitch of this row till you reach the end of this row I have completed my row and you need to have 14 double crochets in this row now you need to turn your work and again you start your row with the single crochet right into the first stitch and one single crochet in this loop and now you work one double crochet in the next stitch 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 and you need to continue working one double crochet in each stitch of this row till you reach the end of the row I've completed my row and again you need to have 14 double crochets in this row 
you need to turn your work and you work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in this loop and you need to work one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and now you chain two you need to skip two stitches one and two and right into the third stitch you need to work one double crochet you chain two you need to skip two stitches one and two and right into the third stitch you need to work one double crochet chain two you need to skip two stitches one and two and right into the third stitch you need to work one double crochet and now you need to work one double crochet in the next stitch and one double crochet in the last stitch now you chain one you turn your work you work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and now you need to work two single crochets in the chain space that's one and two and now you work one single crochet right on top of the next double crochet that's right here that's one single crochet and now you need to work two single crochets in the next chain space that's one and two and now you work one single crochet right on top of the next double crochet that's right here And now you work two single crochets in the next chain space that's one and two and now you need to work one single crochet in the next stitch that's right here one single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the last stitch and now you chain one and you can cut your yarn you need to make one more compartment you can pick whatever color you wish to make and now we are going to start with the wheels now for the wheels we need to work a magic circle first so for those of you who do not know how to work the magic circle I have a video on that as well I will leave the link to that video in the description box below so now we will start the magic circle and you chain three one two three And now you need to work nine double crochets in this magic circle so we start with one two three four five six seven eight and nine and now you pull the loose end and you need to join your row 
with a slip stitch right into the first chain three that we made so right into the third chain you work your slip stitch you chain one and you cut your yarn now this is our first wheel you need a total of six wheels so you need to make five more of these now for the wheels of the engine I have joined a chain in between for that you need to join your yarn with a slip knot to the first wheel you go into the wheel if you can see this is the center and you come out from one stitch right here now you join your yarn and you need to chain 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 and in the next wheel this is the center you need to go into the stitch first in between two stitches right here and come out from the center and you work your slip stitch and you chain one and you can cut your yarn now we're going to work the tracks to show you how to work the tracks I'm using a light color so that you can see the stitches you work your slip knot and you need to chain 61 so you start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Continue working till you have a chain of 61. Now after you finish your chain 61, you need to mark your stitch here, the last stitch. That's right here. You mark it with a stitch marker and now you chain 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And now you need to work your first double crochet right into the stitch that you marked. That's right into this stitch you work your first double crochet. And now you can remove your stitch marker. And now you chain two. You need to skip two stitches. That's one and two. And right into the third stitch you need to work one double crochet. chain 2 you need to skip 2 stitches 1 and 2 and right into the third stitch you need to work 1 double crochet chain 2 you need to skip 2 stitches 1 and 2 right into the third stitch you need to work 1 double crochet Now this is the pattern you need to follow for the rest of this row. You need to chain 2 and you need to skip 2 stitches 1 and 2 and right into the third stitch you need to work 1 double crochet. 
You need to continue following this pattern till you reach the end of this row. After you complete your row, you need to chain one and cut your yarn. And now you need to attach the wheels. You need to use your yarn needle and you can stitch them together. We've completed working the train. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and happy crocheting.